Welcome to GK Energy Tech. Innovate to live. Live to innovate. This video is solely for educational purpose. For the next few minutes you'll be briefed about the working of Stirling engines and the features. The engine that has been presented in this video is just for demonstration purpose. It does not produce any useful work. What is a Stirling engine? Unlike conventional IC engines, Stirling engine is an external combustion engine. They operate by cyclic compression and expansion of working fluid at various temperatures and converts the heat energy into useful work. The working fluid in a Stirling engine is permanently contained inside the system. Now, let us see what are the types of Stirling engines. There are three types. They are 1. Alpha 2. Beta and 3. Gamma When we look into all the three Stirling engines Alpha, Beta and Gamma, each has its own body structure. Alpha type has two power pistons. One is at the hot junction while the other is at cold junction. Beta engine has one power piston and one displacer piston. And an important thing to be noted here is both power piston and displacer piston works in a single cylinder. Gamma type is similar to beta engine containing a power piston and displacer cylinder. But both are separated like an alpha configuration. Stirling engine consists of two power pistons for alpha, while one for beta and gamma, a displacer piston, and a regenerator stack. A regenerator is a thermal storage device, where heat is stored in one part of the cycle, and again heat is transferred back to the working fluid in other part of the cycle. A typical Stirling engine contains a hot junction and cold junction. Let us consider that the difference in temperature between hot and cold junction is delta T. Higher the delta T, higher will be the work produced by the engine. In a Stirling cycle, Carnot cycles compression and expansion isentropic processes are replaced by two constant volume regeneration process. During the regeneration process, heat is transferred to a regenerator during one part and heat is transferred back to the working fluid in another part of the cycle. Stirling cycle consists of four stages. They are isothermal expansion, constant volume heat transfer, isothermal compression, constant volume heat transfer. During isothermal expansion process, the heat is being added from external source and piston expands isothermally doing work, and gas pressure drops. In second stage, 2 to 3, the heat is transferred to regenerator, and gas temperature drops to TL. From 3 to 4, he transfers isothermally from the gas to external heat source at TL. So the gas temperature remains at TL while the pressure rises. From 4 to 1, there will be an internal heat transfer from regenerator to working fluid and rises temperature to TH.